righty, with Halloween Haunt at Canada's Wonderland officially kicking off this weekend that just passed, I'm going to go over everything new and what you need to know going into this haunt season at Canada's Wonderland. So I'm going to get it started off with the brand new maze Demons of the Deep that has launched at Canada's Wonderland this Halloween Haunt season. Now. I've heard a lot of people online say that they're not that big of a fan of this maze as there's not a lot of scares and that they it's too lit up, but I'm on the contrary. I actually think this is one of their better mazes at Canada's Wonderland. Now, I did have the luxury of going through it alone to film it, um, so I might have a slight bias as it was a lot scarier being alone, but I am here to say that this is one of the best themed mazes out there next to the ruins at Canada's Wonderland. I loved the storyline, I loved the soundtrack that was playing in the background as you're walking through, the actors were amazing, and the set pieces were absolutely gorgeous. If I was to give this maze one bit of criticism, it would have to be the costumes. The costumes were dollar store set pieces in my opinion. Um, and that's the only thing I would improve about this maze, that they were wearing essentially just cloth. Um, but outside of that, it's a 10 out of 10 maze for me. Look at these set pieces. They're absolutely amazing. And there's even like a fish tank scene where an actor's in a fish tank. So honestly, I was beyond impressed. I was not expecting this level of detail at Canada's Wonderland. Now, another new thing at Canada's Wonderland's Halloween Haunt this year is a new Mortal Meals deal. It's a buffet before the park opens, along with exclusive ride time on Leviathan and even interactions with some of Canada's Wonderland's best Halloween Haunt monsters. I do want to go over that Canada's Wonderland does have a strict bag policy again this year, and even more strict, you're not allowed to wear the zip-up hoodies that cover your face. Even if you have it on and yet it's not currently covering your face, they will turn you away. No ski masks, no Halloween makeup, and no costumes at all. They are also um, launching a brand new, which I think is absolutely amazing, new lantern that interacts as you walk around the park. Now, that's all I was expecting it to do was change colors um, and do some really cool things as you're going through scare zones, but it does even more. It does have a high price at $50, but I'm telling you right now, use your past benefits. I got my price down to $40 after tax, so it came down to like $32 using my discount. So if you have a prestige, um, use that discount. And then on top of it, you can stack your 10% off coupon on your prestige pass on top of that. And my price came down to about $32, $40 with tax. There are certain things around the park hidden that this lantern interacts with, activating scenes and shows. This is one of them. It's a cat trying to escape out of this um, cage-like structure. There are other cool things as well. As you can see right there, it changes color. Um, it was a lot cooler than I was even expecting. A, I, I'm gonna show you some of the other ones here. So you have a hearse over by Grand World Eatery and the, you bring the lantern close to it and this little zombie type thing tries to escape with some sound and lighting effects that activate as well. Um, this is very similar to the wand at Harry Potter World and from what I've been told, there's gonna be even more set pieces next weekend. So that's really exciting to hear that they only had about half of them out at this opening weekend and that they still had half the set pieces to add. You can bring the lantern back into the park from what I've been told, I did ask that. So if you bought it like this weekend, you can bring it next weekend. As you see here, it changes colors in scare zones. Um, this was a really cool feature. You can switch it to tag mode. These were random guests that came up to me in the park and they showed me this cool feature of playing tag. So if you turn it to tag mode, one person will be green um, and they're in charge of going up to other people and they change the lantern to red and then you can go and tag other people um, to be red as well. So that's really cool. Another cool um, activated set piece is this um, outhouse. It has a lighting, lightning effect um, and some sounds, so that was really cool. The coolest activated set piece so far is 100% um, the one over by Tundra Twister. So over by Tundra Twister, they have this really large box-like structure right next to the ride sign. You're gonna wanna bring your lantern right over to this 
and it's going to activate a giant ghoul um, to lunge out and play some sound effects. So that was the coolest one. A lot of guests walking by were like, whoa, how did that, how did that happen? Um, and you got to describe it. I will say these lanterns are selling really well and moving quickly. So if you do want one, I would get one because I know Wonderland. They always underestimate how well things do. Um, the Oktoberfest mugs they ran out of. So I expect this to be the same, that they'll probably maybe run out of these about three quarters of the way through Haunt. Um, some monsters around the scare zones um, can activate effects on them as well. So as you see here, Spiky has the ability to activate some cool effects on the lantern as well. So that was really cool because I did not expect that at all. And he just came up and showed um, that um, Spiky can do those effects. So that was really cool to see. Um, this is really outside of the typical Wonderland experience that you have. If you remember the Winterfest um, bubble wand thing that they had, I thought that was a complete flop. Um, it actually gave me a pretty bad impression of Wonderland's ability to do cool things like this. Uh, so I'm kind of like, wow, this was a, a step in the right direction. Uh, so I highly do recommend, this is not paid or um, I'm influenced to give a high recommendation of this. I do highly recommend these, especially learning that there's going to be more effects next weekend. Um, so I would suggest buying it, honestly. Use those discounts that I told you about. There are new um, alcohol stations around the park. Um, the new poutine, you have to try this. It's a jerk chicken, which is brew poutine. I believe that's its name. It is really good. Truthfully, that was my favorite thing on the new menu. Um, and it unfortunately is not on the meal plan, but as a prestige pass holder or even a platinum one, I believe you guys should have 50% off the witch's poutine. So use it. Um, this is another drink stand over by Beaver Tails and Mindbuster. Uh, the new food items um, have launched at Canada's Wonderland's Halloween Haunt, and we have a new chef, for those of you that might not know. Um, we did score Cedar Point's um, sous chef, and he is now at Canada's Wonderland as our main chef. And for those of you that have had the opportunity to go to Cedar Point, they have a really good menu. The food there is absolutely amazing. And I got to finally see his menu. I believe this is his menu um, in full force. And it is really good. There is one menu item that I wasn't a fan of, but it seemed very California inspired. And I don't like avocado, so that might be why I didn't like it. But the food is really good. I like the Jamaican uh, stew, I believe is what they call it. The Jamaican bean stew. That was really good. I was not expecting to like it, but it was very flavorful and I loved it. The desserts are really good, a step in the right direction. Um, one of my favorite things, again, is the jerk chicken, which is poutine um, that you can get at the mess hall underneath Yukon Striker. And I believe you can probably get it at the poutinery near Thunder Run as well. Um, the corn dog was really good as well, and it is an extremely large portion. Uh, I was expecting what you saw here on Media Day, but if you actually go get it, it's like about 2 0.5 times the size as you're seeing here uh, so it was great to see them step in the right direction in terms of portion sizing I'm hearing that the chili at Lazy Bear Lodge that I didn't get to try is absolutely amazing as well um, on that uh, Facebook group so really excited to try that out as these are some of the newer items and that chili from what I understand is a direct um, products stolen from the Cedar Point menu. So definitely excited to try that. Outside of that, there are no new shows. Um, they did remove Skeleton Crew. So unfortunately, Skeleton Crew is removed. Um, but obviously, the uh, other show that takes place in Medfair has a much better stage now. So it looks a lot cooler. Uh, I have to give some honest feedback about the actors. I uh, This is positive feedback. I don't know why I'm wording it that way. But I don't know if you guys feel the same way. The actors seem way better this season with a lot more energy and they're focusing on the scares inside the mazes. Uh, a lot less lazy actors this season in terms of the haunted houses. Um, they definitely seem to be filling up a lot more of the, the scare positions in those mazes and utilizing them a lot better. And there was just a lot more energy. So... That was just something I wanted to talk about because I know that last season it did seem a little sloppy in terms of scares, but this season seemed really great. And honestly, I had a really good time at Halloween Haunt. It was fun. There was that new cool interactive lantern. 
the mazes were cool the new maze was so cool um, and the scare zones just seemed to keep getting slight touch-ups um, from previous seasons so that was really cool to see corn stalkers has got a new setup you get to walk over a bridge um, entering it so that was really cool to see uh, it re almost reminded me for those of you that are a little older like myself miners revenge back in the day that was in whitewater canyon um, it gave me a little bit of like nostalgia uh, of that so that was really cool honestly if i was to give this halloween haunt an overall rating this season i would give it probably an 8 out of 10 where previously i gave it a 5 or a 6 out of 10 compared to other haunt attractions in ontario i would definitely say it is evident that wonderland is trying to elevate itself um, in terms of the overall experience so definitely a 10 out of 10 and for those of you that might be a little too scared to go to halloween haunt they do have a no boo necklace that you can buy and this year's is really adorable um, unfortunately they do not work in mazes anymore um, as it is difficult for haunt actors to not scare people as they're scare sets that move and they can't see the no boo necklace at first so that is the only reason the no boo necklace isn't allowed in haunts and mazes they can't guarantee you won't get scared so they don't work um, i highly recommend fright lane um, and fast lane later on in the year sundays are definitely a good day to go i heard leviathan was a walk-on for three hours um, on sunday that just passed at howling haunt friday and saturday were definitely busier but friday was a pa day so in previous seasons friday was a good day to go to avoid saturdays at all costs um, it is extremely busy you're going to want to avoid it definitely try to go friday or sunday um, and haunt hours have adjusted a little bit. It does close at 11 p.m. on Sundays now. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I need to go over. I don't think so. So I highly recommend checking out The Lantern. Definitely check out Demons of the Deep. You got to try the new food items. They are really good. And yeah, definitely utilize your discounts on your passes, guys. Go to your past benefits. Wonderland has definitely been using them this year. You're earning them if you're visiting. They are usable. Even if it says it's for food or merchandise, you can use it on other things like the lanterns. Um, and yeah, there's a lot of 50% off food coupons. Utilize them as well. And it's honestly, you got to check it out. It's great. Use your benefits. Got to go. Go Friday, Sunday. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you have any other questions, comment down below and I'll try and answer them to the best of my ability. Have a good one, guys. Bye.